Hey Luke here with CatsAndCarp.com and I've got a Daiwa beef stick and I'm gonna find out whether this is the strongest rod in the world or the worst rod in the world and we're gonna be giving away some fishing gear so stay tuned. So for those of you who don't know, I've been doing a series of catfishing rod review videos. I bought 24 catfishing rods, including this Daiwa beef stick, and I'm going through each one and reviewing them one by one. This Daiwa beef stick is a unique fishing rod. It is extremely heavy. And so you get this serious stiffness in the tip, and then it goes soft on you. And when you flex it, I can feel it bending all the way in the butt of the rod. I've heard several people claim that this is a great rod for shark fishing or deep sea fishing, that it's indestructible, that it's super heavy duty, and I don't know if that's true. So we're going to find out whether the beef stick is, as its reputation claims, one of the strongest rods in the world, or whether it's just a really, really crappy rod. I've got a series of challenges that will test the strength of this rod. If this rod passes those challenges, I'm going to give away this rod to one of you subscribers, so stay tuned for details on how to win. If this rod breaks, I'm gonna give away this $150 Abu Garcia 7000 limited catfish edition reel with spider wire spooled on it. Okay, for this first challenge, I'm going to test this rod against some of the most ferocious, some of the most violent animals you can catch. I'm gonna fish for my kids. We've got our bait rigged up, let's go for it. All right. Oh, 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 he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, oh, he got it. Send the hook. Send the hook. Oh, he's go for it. <laughs> this is a big battle. Oh, your stomach. Your stomach was pulled to the ground. Reel down. My Abu Garcia Catfish Special, the 7000 series, wasn't quite beefy enough to uh, really test this rod. I think this thing only has about 20 pounds of drag. There's very few freshwater reels that generate more than 20 pounds of drag. There's not a ton out there. Um, so if I'm going to really test this rod, I need to up my game. So I'm pulling out my Penn Senator 9 aught. This is uh, what I use for land-based shark fishing here and it has somewhere in the neighborhood of 30, 35 pounds of drag. So we'll see what happens here. And it's, uh, I've got it spooled with 100 pound uh, monofilament line. So let's see what we can do with this. I'm surprised this really even fits. <laughs> All right, 100 pound monofilament and 130 pound carabiner. Let's see what damage we can do with these bad boys. All right, so we had some fun playing around with Tommy and Nate, but now for the real challenge. My son Tommy here weighs 40 pounds even, and I wanna see whether or not this rod can deadlift Tommy without breaking. Now here's my logic behind this. I did a similar video with the medium powered Ugly Stick GX2 and it was able to deadlift 24 pounds without breaking. Additionally, the Big Cat Fever Rods, that, they did a video where they uh, deadlifted a 113 pound man with one of their cat fishing rods. So if this rod, which weighs more than the Big Cat Fever Rods, uh, is, is going to be the super strong rod that they claim it is, it should be able to easily deadlift Tommy. However, I think the rod isn't that strong. I don't think it's gonna be able to do it without breaking. So we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens here. 
And if this rod can deadlift 40 pound Tom here, then I'm going to give away the rod. And if it can't, I'm giving away the reel. Put on right there. Well, do it. All right. The reel seat popped because it's a little plastic reel seat. The top of the reel popped out of the reel seat. That's where it broke. There was a popping noise and it cracked the reel seat and slipped out. So I'm going to undo the reel and get a better look at it. So let's take a look at this thing. Oh yeah. The reel's in good shape. Yeah, you can see where it uh, warped the reel seat and then broke the plastic off. Uh, yeah, now check this out too. And you can see here where the foam handle is all torn up because the line, the rod bends so much the line cuts into the handle and rubs against your hand too. All right. Well, the monofilament, the 100 pound monofilament broke just above the knot. So, uh, whew, that was, uh, that was something else. These challenges are fun. They're kind of goofy, but there's a valuable lesson to be learned here. The lesson is that the strength of the rod really isn't that important, okay? The reels are much weaker than the rods. The line is much weaker than the rods. So it really doesn't matter the max strength of the rod because you're never gonna get there in a real world situation. Very few freshwater reels can generate more than 20 pounds of drag. And I don't know of any freshwater reel that can generate more than 30. So what's the point of having a rod that can deadlift more than 30 pounds anyways? You're never going to achieve that sort of force on your rod in a real world situation, unless you're slapping on saltwater reels and going crazy, okay? So for catfishing, the strength of the rod really doesn't matter. As long as it can handle about 20 to 30 pounds of pressure, that's all you need. Anything else is just pointless. So let's answer the original question. Is the Daiwa beef stick the worst rod ever or is it the strongest rod ever? And I think the answer is neither. Technically speaking, it did break. Um, there is damage right here on the reel seat, but it's still usable. So, you know, it's not as weak as I thought it was, okay? And I think that's pretty clear. I, I underestimated the rod. At the same time, this rod is not as good as people say it is. Um, when you load it up, even partially, the line rubs against your hand. Uh, if you had braid and didn't have gloves and a fish ran, it would chew the crap out of your hands. So there's some real problems with this rod, some real design flaws. 
Um, I just don't think this is a good catfishing rod at all. I mean, it would be near impossible to tell if you had a bite on it. It's just got no sensitivity at all. It's not very fun to cast. It doesn't cast very far. Um, and it just has some serious problems. If you want a catfishing rod around $30, I would go with the Rip and Lips uh, catfish rod over this any day of the week. All right, so time for the giveaway. So here's the thing. The challenge was to see if the rod could lift Tommy without breaking. Now technically, the rod did break. There was damage to the reel seat, a part came off. Barely, technically, but it broke, okay? So I am going to give away this Abu Garcia Catfish Edition 7000 reel spooled up with some of this 40 pound spider wire camo. It's a right-handed reel, and this thing's, I think it's about $150 to $170 reel. So brand new, and it can be yours. All you have to do to win is click subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video on any social media platform or website or Facebook or YouTube or whatever. And I'll announce the winner one week from the day I post this video. I'll respond to the winning comment, and I'll announce the name of the winner in my video one week from the day I post this video. So thanks for watching, hope you like this video. Click subscribe, nailed it. Did I mention it comes with a free sticker?